Hey everybody, welcome. Look at my shirt, what is that? Welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome to my channel. I normally do makeup videos and some vlogs, but I haven't vlogged in a while. Um, but today is gonna be something a little different. Um, as you can tell by the title, um, I'm gonna be talking about the life of a prison life. Technically, I'm not a wife. I'm talking about my boyfriend. And technically, he's not in prison. He's actually in jail. But uh, we'll get into that. Let me just kind of start off with the history here. We met in 2010. Um, at the time, I was recently divorced. I had my daughter who was one at the time. She had just turned one. And then he also had a daughter who was about to turn one. So his daughter and my daughter are about five months apart and you know we met we fell in love yada yada we moved in together um, we actually lived in an apartment downtown here and then um, at about 2013 I became pregnant with my son and his son our son and at that time he was also going through custody like fighting for custody for his daughter um, that's a whole nother like drama story. I don't know if I really want, really want to get into it, but uh, so he was fighting for custody for her. We actually bought our house to live closer to her mother, which is about 45 minutes from where we all work, where I grew up. So basically a whole nother town. We moved everything to be closer to her. Um, so we bought this house. And it was a great start, you know, we had our kids together, we had a home, you know, like everything was actually going great for a couple of years. It was going pretty great. We got, you know, he got joint custody of his daughter and, you know, everything was going good. And then in 2016, the summer of 2016, he was, in, he got incarcerated. And um, I'm not going to go into like why he's there just because we're still dealing with the case and it's not smart to really talk about it not only that it's just that stuff super personal but i just just so you know it's not anything against like hurting me hurting kids anything like that um it's just basically he's being punished for his past and um yeah it's it's just really complicated a lot of people don't even like when i tell them why he's there they they're like what no way anyways so that was 2016 it is now 2018 he's been gone for about 19 20 months and when he was here like he was a responsible one he paid all the bills like he sat down on sundays and balanced his checkbook and wrote checks you know old school he wrote checks to all the bills he hated paying stuff online he was like just so old school and it was a good thing like I like that he balanced me out because I'm more of this like just let go have fun like you know that type of person and uh, he wants things taken care of and so we would balance each other out you know anyways so he's been gone that long um, and I just want to say that and I'm gonna try not to cry because I've cried before in my videos and I look at him like girl anyways uh but honestly like this the these past this past months like the whole time he's been gone it has literally 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 been the hardest thing that like I've ever ever had to deal with in my whole life like it's so inexplainable the pain that you feel when somebody that you love is taken away and uh, we can visit each other but the way that the gel hair is set up you can only visit through video phone like it's basically like this like you pick up a phone and you're like hey babe like you can't even like put your hand to the glass or anything like that and then uh, we can't even write letters to each other it's only postcards which are like this big so I mean what like, he usually writes me poems and pictures and stuff it's just been hard because a lot of the things that he did when he was home like fell on me and 
it's hard to do it on on your own like obviously there's so many people that do it on their own but when you have somebody that could be helping you and they're just not able to it's it's I don't know it's even worse I feel like so his daughter actually I still am able to pick her up every other weekend to come spend time with my son and my daughter um, just because we had our life set up here you know she has her room here and stuff and so I took it upon myself to reach out to her mother when he first got incarcerated and just tried to work out a deal with her that where I pick her up every other weekend so that she can see them that has been really hard um, I wouldn't say that like we're friends me and her his ex if anything it's like frenemies and I hate like saying it on the internet but it's true like we have a really strained relationship like when she found out I was pregnant with my son that's basically the reason why she took her daughter away from him because she was mad and so like obviously when I see her like you know I just we don't talk about much it's just like hey how are you oh, that's good blah 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 and I do it for Aaliyah which is his daughter I do it for her like I bite my tongue because there I actually drive like I said we live 45 minutes away from where we live from where we work so I actually drive 45 minutes here and then she lives about another 15 minutes further from my house so on my week the weekends that I'm supposed to get her like for the longest time I've driven from my work to her house which is about 50 miles um, just to pick her up for two days and I just think of in my head like you know because she loves coming here and she still loves us and everything so I just think in my head like it's for her like don't make a big deal you know and I don't know it's just it's hard it's hard to deal with that type of stuff um, it's hard seeing other families continue to grow because uh, I feel like for us we were on that path you know um, we got our house we have both worked we took care of the kids like our hobbies were like talking about putting up fences in our yard or talking about gardening like that's our life we were boring like that and when I see other families like I try not to be bitter and like but it's 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 really it's really hard um, I have the surgery coming up in a couple days and I feel like it's really hitting me now because um, I know that if he was here he would be he would be there you know he'd be at the hospital look who came in say hi be nice say hi no okay get out um, hi say, <laughs> what's your name I see. how old are you four four where's daddy I staying at school oh he's at school you miss dad yeah all right okay go watch your show I want to start on my book give me a kiss well, he came and saved the day because I was literally about to cry. Uh, anyway, so, <clears throat> yeah, it's hard because, I don't know, I keep saying it's hard, it's hard. But not only that, it's like the judgment that you get from people. Like, people are ruthless. Like, they're going to be like, well, he shouldn't go to jail and then you wouldn't have to do the blah, blah, blah. But you never know. You never know anyone's story or if they're guilty or innocent or why they're there. Um, not only that, like, I feel like people will say, well, you're insecure and that's why you hold on to him. No, actually, we had a very good relationship. You know, we fought. Who freaking doesn't, you know what I mean? But, like, we had a relationship at home, so it's not like I just, like, met him while he was incarcerated and I just, you know. So it's nothing like that. Like, he is my family. Like, he is part of, of of me he's part of my kids you know it's it's not that easy to just walk away from someone because they're not physically in your presence I don't know I just made this video because I wanted to kind of vent about it and also I wanted to um, just make this video in case there's any other girls women whatever going through this that need support just be strong 
things will get better. Um, and I always tell him, I always tell him when we talk, we're going to look at, we're going to be old one day. We're going to look back at this and we're just going to be like, wow, we made it through that together. So you just got to think positively and, uh, I'm not in any support groups or anything like that online, but it is good to like look up videos and stuff and have somebody you can relate to because you know, it's hard. Like you can't, sometimes you can't talk to your own family because they're probably just like, Ugh, okay, we're tired of hearing about how much you miss your boyfriend. Um, but you know what? Hopefully one day I'll be making a video of him coming home or him being here. <sighs> so yeah, I'm waiting for him. And uh, there is one thing though that I want to mention that I've noticed a lot of there's been a lot a lot a lot of people who were like oh if you ever need anything like call me if you need your lawn cut if you need blah 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 that have not not been there um, and my thing is like don't say it then like don't don't offer help or whatever like don't offer all that if you're not gonna come through like it's cool and I gotta think too like who have I been there for so I try not to like be like so mad about it cuz I can't just expect everyone to help me out but don't say you are if you're not going to um, and you just realize who really is you really do realize I know people say that a lot but you really do realize who's there for you when times get tough and I'll tell you right now that has only been my immediate family my my mother my siblings and I could probably count on my hand people who aren't related to me who have actually been there when I needed something when my car broke down when I need a grocery you know it's just stuff like that that people say that they'll do and they don't yeah I just hope things will get better I hope 2018 brings him home and uh, we can resume our life, our domesticated American dream life of working and paying bills together. <laughs> but anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you can relate or if you know anyone who can relate, like please comment. I like being able to relate and hear other people's, uh, other people's stories as well. And hopefully not feel like I'm, I'm alone. So thanks for watching. I think this might be my last video before my surgery. My surgery is on Wednesday and it's Monday. I was going to make a makeup video, but I felt I didn't feel like making a makeup video. I felt like talking. Sometimes all I have is you guys to talk to, so sorry. But I'm going to vlog the... I'm, I am going to vlog the surgery the best I can. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.